take a break from the Pac-12, but I mean, could you argue that you're playing the best team in the country this weekend? Yeah, uh, definitely. Uh, they just beat Florida yesterday. Uh, th that was a really tough matchup for them, and I think it's going to be really exciting to see how we match up against them. What do you think you guys need to do to take a series from them? I think we just need to work on focusing on the small stuff. Um, I think when we play our best is uh, when pitchers use the defense. Uh, don't try to do too much as a pitcher. Um, and when our bats are obviously on a roll. And hopefully coming off of this last weekend that we can keep that going and hopefully take the series. Whatever happens, do you think you'll take confidence from it knowing you've you know, prepared yourself for what's coming? Um, I mean, you can't really look at any game like it's bigger than any other. Um, if you blow it up too big, then there's going to be some nerves that shouldn't be there. Um, I feel like just keeping our team motto of it's opening day every day and just kind of sticking to that is going to be uh, our key to success this weekend. Miranda Ellis seems to have turned it on recently, six strikeouts in relief on Saturday. What have you seen out of her in terms of de developing in these past couple of weeks? I think she's developed uh, 100%. Um, I think she's trusting her pitches, trusting the defense, um, but also having confidence in her pitches as well. Um, I feel like in the beginning of the year she was struggling a little bit with her confidence and uh, was getting hit around, hit around a little bit, um, but she's really working them corners and keeping her ball low. Um, even when I struggle, my ball is normally high, uh, so she's just really working on keeping that ball low and she's having a lot of success doing that and I'm really proud of her. The timing of the series is going to feel like the postseason is here already almost, do you think? Yeah, I mean, it's really exciting. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, I mean, you kind of take every game and uh, try and focus on um, like playing it as a post-series game and hopefully um, just kind of working on it to be successful in the end. When you look at their hitters, what's some of the biggest challenges as a pitcher going up against the, their squad? Uh, I mean, I think they got a lot of everything. Um, they got a lot of speed, they got a lot of power. Um, I think as a pitcher, you can't just overlook them, but you can't uh, make them bigger than who they are. Um, thinking of the hitters that I've pitched against in the Pac-12, I think that it's almost similar. Um, like Tatiana Malga, you know, has a lot of power, but we still managed to get her out on some pitches, and everybody has a weakness, and I think as a pitcher, it's a really good idea to just try and figure it out which, with what it is to be successful. How do you balance that, attacking a hitter's perceived weaknesses with what you know your strengths are? Um, I don't really know. I mean, you just kind of got to trust the process and uh, just what we work on during the week during practice. and. Um, I don't know, just kind of throwing to your strengths, but also um, throwing to their weaknesses. And, I mean, I don't really know. Somehow you find a balance. Yeah, yeah. You kind of just get comfortable and kind of get in the zone, and it just kind of takes care of itself because you just trust the preparation that you had. Was there a point in the season with the other two pitchers being freshmen that you kind of looked to yourself like, okay, it's time to be a leader, even though I'm still pretty young? Uh, I mean, as a... a upperclassmen of the pitching staff. I mean, uh, I mean, they kind of look to you as a leader somewhat, um, but I feel like we all have certain strengths and can be a leader on any given day. And it's really exciting to see. Where's your confidence at after that? Those two games against Oregon State only giving up a few hits. Uh, I mean, being complacent is not a good thing as a pitcher. Uh, so just kind of um, going at every batter and just attacking them, uh, just working on my changeup a little bit, commanding the zone a little better with that, um, and working my drop ball down and letting the defense do their work, and I think that's when I'm most successful. How does it help not just you, but Ballant and Ellis as well when you see your offense go out and kind of have a, a streak like they've had the past four or five games? Uh, I think it's helped a lot. Um, it helps pitchers, all three of us, uh, kind of relax a little bit on the mound and be able to work our pitches in different zones and kind of just have a little more fun out there instead of being uptight and just kind of keeping the game on the line. Yeah.